Hello everyone. In the previous class, we learned about Minle-Thompson method. Today, we will discuss about the application of Minle-Thompson method. Here is a problem. In this problem, real part of the function f is given. We have to find the analytic function f. We can solve this problem using Minle-Thompson method. So, let us start. Given that u is equal to sine to x divided by cos hyperbolic to y plus cos to x. Now ux is equal to del u del x that is partial derivative of the function u with respect to the variable x. We know that when a function is of the form f divided by g then the derivative of the function is this. Here u is also of the form f divided by g where f is equal to sin 2x and g is equal to cos hyperbolic 2y plus cos 2x. So the differentiation of u with respect to x is in the denominator we have g square that is cos hyperbolic 2y plus cos 2x whole square and in the numerator we have g that is cos hyperbolic 2y plus cos 2x into differentiation of f that is differentiation of sin 2x therefore 2 into cos 2x minus f that is sin 2x into differentiation of g that is differentiation of cos hyperbolic 2y plus cos 2x now here we differentiate the function u partially with respect to x. So any function of y will treat as a constant. So here cos hyperbolic 2y is constant. Therefore differentiation of g is 0 plus minus 2 into sin 2x. Therefore, ux is equal to in the denominator cos hyperbolic 2y plus cos 2x whole square and in the numerator we have 2 cos 2x cos hyperbolic 2y plus 2 cos square 2x plus 2 into sin square 2x. This equal to cos hyperbolic 2y plus cos 2x square 2 cos 2x into cos hyperbolic 2y plus 2 into cos square 2x plus sin square 2x. Therefore, ux is equal to 2 into cos 2x into cos hyperbolic 2y plus 2 into 1 divided by cos hyperbolic 2y 
plus cos 2x square. This equal to 2 plus 2 into cos 2x cos hyperbolic 2y divided by cos hyperbolic 2y plus cos 2x whole square this equal to phi 1 x y say. Similarly, we differentiate the function u with respect to the variable y. Therefore, del u divided by del y. This equal to in the denominator cos hyperbolic 2y plus cos 2x square and in the numerator we have cos hyperbolic 2y plus cos 2x into derivative of sin 2x since we differentiate the function u with respect to the variable y partially therefore we treat all the function of x as a constant therefore here sin 2x derivative of sin 2x is equal to 0 minus sin 2x top into derivative of cos hyperbolic 2y plus cos 2x that is 2 into sin hyperbolic 2y. Therefore, uy is equal to minus 2 into sin 2x into sin hyperbolic 2y divided by cos hyperbolic 2y plus cos 2x whole square. This equal to phi 2 x y c. Now phi 1 z comma 0 is equal to cos hyperbolic 0 plus cos 2 z square and in the numerator we have 2 plus 2 into cos 2 z into cos hyperbolic 0. We know that cos hyperbolic 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, phi 1 z comma 0 is equal to 1 plus cos 2 z whole square. In the numerator we have 2 plus 2 into cos 2 z. Thus, phi 1 z 0 is equal to 2 into 1 plus cos 2 z divided by 1 plus cos 2 z whole square equal to 2 divided by 1 plus cos 2 z. Now, phi 2 z 0 is equal to minus 2 into sin 2 z into sin hyperbolic 0 divided by cos hyperbolic 0 plus cos 2 z whole square. We know that sin hyperbolic 0 is equal to 0 therefore phi 2 z comma 0 is equal to 0. Therefore by Milne Thompson method we have if z is equal to integration phi 1 z 0 minus iota into phi 2 
सेट जीरो डिजिट प्लस सी फायर सी इज ए आर्बिट्ररी कॉन्स्टेंट पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ फाइव वन जेड जीरो एंड फाइव टू जेड जीरो वी हैव एफ जेड इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन टू डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस कॉस टू जेड माइनस आयोटा इंटू जीरो डिजेट प्लस सी दिस इक्वल टू टू डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस कॉस टू जेट डिजेट प्लस सी वी नो दैट वन प्लस कॉस टू जेट इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू कॉस स्क्वायर सेट देर फोर एफ सेट इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन टू डिवाइडेड बाई टू इंटू कॉस स्क्वायर जेड डिजेट प्लस सी दिस इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन वन डिवाइडेड बाई कॉस स्क्वायर जेड डिजेट प्लस सी एफ सेट इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन सिक्स स्क्वायर जेड डिजेट प्लस सी वी नो दैट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ सिक्स स्क्वायर जेड इज इक्वल टू टेन जेड देर फोर टेन जेड प्लस सी देर फोर द एनालिटिक फंक्शन एफ सेट इज इक्वल टू टेन जेड प्लस सी This is the required answer.